Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can play Call of Duty Warzone with almost any gamepad. The gamepad I'm using for this video is a cheap $5 gamepad, so I hope that gives you an idea that you can use almost any gamepad for this process. By the way, if this method does work for you, then please consider subscribing to the channel because I always come up with videos like this. So anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, what you want to do is download this file called Joystick. Now this will be in zip format, so you want to unzip this. So I already have this unzipped on my PC. So after that, you have to go inside the file. So inside the file, you'll find a file called install first. So you want to go inside it and install everything that you can see here. First one is the universal joystick driver. Now you can skip this if you already have your joysticks driver installed in your PC. After that, you want to install this VIGM driver. Now this is the most necessary one. Without this, nothing will work. So if this doesn't install properly on your PC, then you might want to disable your antivirus software. Now you can obviously check it if this has a virus, but I'm sure that this file doesn't have any virus. After that, you want to install the Xbox 360 driver. Now you can download it from Google if this one doesn't work for you, or I'll give a link below where you can download this, or you can just install this one. Now after installing everything, you want to go to this X output folder. Now there's also a zip file for this X output. Now you can keep this as your backup if you mess up anything on this one. After that, you want to go into this X output file and open the X output application. Now as you guys can see, the first one is my gamepad which is the Speedlink Strike gamepad. Now if you don't see your gamepad here, then you might want to check other ports or you might want to restart your PC to see if your PC does recognize your gamepad. So after that, what you want to do is go ahead and add a controller. Sorry, I accidentally added two. So just remove one. Now after that, go into edit. Now what you want to do is configure all the buttons on your gamepad just like this. Now here you can see what button to configure. Now after that from here you want to go ahead and configure your gamepad. Now this might take some time so just go ahead and take your time for this. Now if you don't have a button on your gamepad then you can obviously skip it as you guys can see I don't have the home button so I did not configure it. Then go ahead and find out this RY which is the Z rotation. Now what you want to do is invert this because every time I configure my controller I have this problem where if I go up my joystick goes down and if I go down my joystick goes up. So you want to invert this one. After that you can just go ahead and close this and press start. Now you want to start this every time you play your game. So you want to keep this X output application where you can access it easily. So just go ahead and press start and now you can go ahead and play your game. So I hope that works for you. So yeah, this was it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.